ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. This is the place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here today on day 15. Praise God. Welcome to day 15. We are moving right along. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to be here, y'all. The presence of the Lord is strong. He is moving along. His presence is felt. Praise God. I just love the way the Lord is leading in this season. Hallelujah. In every season, he's a great leader. Praise God. But when you are tuned into God, consecrated to God, you can pay more attention. You are paying more attention to his moves. You're paying more attention to his signs, his wonders, praise God, the miracles that he's bringing forth. Hallelujah. You're more in tune. Why? Because the veil has left your eyes, praise God. Those scales have fallen off and you're closer in proximity to the truth. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful that he's showcasing his truth today in Jesus' mighty name. We're going to go ahead and dive into this word, praise God. I'm just grateful that you are joining me today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where the Holy Spirit speaks. We are obedient and we abide in the Lord, praise Praise God. And if you are returning, welcome back. Praise God. You know what it is. And we're going to dive right into this consecration. Praise God. This is a submission fast day 15. Hallelujah. So we are in Luke chapter 19, looking at all of the examples of consecration, all of the examples of yielding, <laughs> all of the examples, because what we're finding is these disciples, they were consecrated. They were, they were yielded to Jesus. Praise God. They yielded to Jesus. They were doing exactly what they were told. They were finding what Jesus said they would find. Praise God. They were in order, walking in sync. Praise God with the spirit of the Lord. And so this is our aim to walk in sync with the spirit of the Lord daily. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And so let's pick up with verse 41. This is right after Jesus said uh, that he tell us that um, if they hold their peace, the disciples in the crowd, that the stones will cry out. And so we're at verse 41 and we're going to read verses 41 through 44, praise God. And this is where Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And let's read here. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, if thou hast known, even thou, at least in the, this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes, praise God. Hallelujah, which means that they are unable to see. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee, encompass thee round, and keep thee in on every side. This is the enemy encamping around, praise God, keeping the people on every side. Hallelujah, no way out. And shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation, praise God. The Lord is letting us know today, praise God. Many in this time did not recognize him as the Messiah that God sent. They did not recognize him, hallelujah, at all, praise God, many of them. And so they were uh, rejecting the Messiah, and they did not uh, know the time in which the visitation was taking place. He was right there in their presence and they didn't even recognize me, y'all. Today, we're going to recognize Jesus in our presence. We're going to recognize Jesus on the throne, praise God. We're going to recognize that Jesus reigns. We're going to recognize, hallelujah, that every single thing that he did for us, it is solid and it's true. Hallelujah. And we're grateful for our salvation because without Jesus, we wouldn't have it, praise God. We're recognizing how he wept over Jerusalem. Because in this weeping, you could see, hallelujah, that he's wailing over the people who are lost. There are so many people who are lost today who have not found their way to Jesus Christ because they are caught up in the world and what the world is teaching them about who they are. They don't even know their true identity. Their true identity is in Jesus Christ, but because they're wrapped up in the world, the world is identifying them. The world is identifying them. And they're taking on the identity that the world is giving them, praise God. Have you ever heard someone say, well, they ain't, they're not going to let, I was going to say they ain't, y'all, but they're not going to let us do this, praise God. They're not going to do that, hallelujah. As if a, a people who are in leadership has control over you, child of God. 
Hallelujah. They don't have control. Why? Because you are not one who will be moving about by man's law. Praise God. Hallelujah. You don't work like that. You work with the spirit of God and the spirit of God is above this law. Hallelujah. There's a law in heaven. Hallelujah. And it's called God Almighty. Do you understand? It's called Jesus Christ. Praise God. There's a law in heaven. Hallelujah. There's a law on the throne. Praise God. It's called righteous judgment. Hallelujah. And when you belong to righteous judgment, praise God, you are not under the law of the world. You're not under the law of man. Praise God. This is why when you read in the Bible where Peter, praise God, when he was uh, uh, locked up, hallelujah, when he was jailed, you know, in the Bible, hallelujah, what happened? The people prayed and then uh, Peter was released by an angel. He did not succumb to the man's law, praise God. He did not just say, oh, well, you know, they put me in jail and that's just it, praise God. Hallelujah. Because he knew whose team he was on, praise God. He wasn't concerned. Hallelujah. He wasn't concerned. Praise God. Just saying in Jesus mighty name. And so we're just going to look at this for a minute because the Lord says that this message is praise God. Hallelujah. Knowing the time of visitation. See, we need to know the time in which we are in, praise God. We need to know, hallelujah, that this is the time of Jesus Christ. This is the time of us acknowledging who we serve. This is the time right here, praise God, where we are right now. We, we listen, y'all, hallelujah. I don't know why many people think they have so much time to get it right. If they look around, hallelujah, they will see that life is just a vapor. And if you have extended life because God has granted that to you, Praise God for that in the mighty name of Jesus. But it still doesn't mean that you will not see the things around you that are happening. Praise God. And many people are leaving this world quickly. Let me say that again. Many people are leaving this world quickly. And there are a lot of demonic, evil uh, uh, tortures and torments happening with uh, people. And people are losing their lives in horrific ways. Do you understand? Hallelujah. And the Lord is letting us know we need to know the time we're in. We need to pay attention to the signs, praise God. Hallelujah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Hallelujah. People don't want to talk about that, praise God. But I'm telling you, what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? It burned. Angels came in. They did what they did, praise God. And it burned. Hallelujah. Sulfur and brimstone burned. Hallelujah. And the Lord is letting us know today that there is a judgment coming. There is a judgment coming to this earth and we need to recognize the time we're in. This is not to scare you, hallelujah, but this is a, a warning so that you can prepare for the time that's coming. And the way that you prepare is reading your Bible, getting to know Jesus Christ, reading your Bible, hallelujah, and finding out your identity in Christ, standing on the word of God, believing it, praise God, consecrating to the Lord, yielding to the Holy Spirit, and just doing what the Lord is telling you to do. Be obedient in this time. It's very simple, praise God. But we as people make it hard because we want to do other things. That's just the truth. You want to do other things. You have other desires that don't line up with the Bible. And so you want to put the Bible on hold. You want to put Jesus on hold. But I'm telling you right now, he's not the kind of uh, uh, leader. He's not the kind of master. He's not the kind of king, praise God, to be put on hold. I'm just letting you know, praise God. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. No, he's not the kind, praise God. Hallelujah. That you're just going to pause. Not Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. So you need to recognize that in the mighty name of Jesus. Just You have to recognize it. Hallelujah. Because what will happen while you're thinking that you're putting Jesus on Paul, you, you don't put yourself on all the way, Paul's. You know, you, you, you listen, you on delay. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name and that you move in today with the blessing of the Lord, knowing what time, what season we are in, praise God, knowing that the Lord has you covered, that as you are yielding to him and when you belong to him, he has you covered and he has not forgotten you in this season. He is opening doors for you, praise God. You're going to walk in and out, hallelujah. You're going to have everything that you need in this time. He is going to rain down resources on his people, praise God. Open doors if you just believe it, hallelujah. You will not be left out. But this round, pay attention, y'all, praise God. Be obedient to what God tells you to do with the resources he pour out. Hallelujah. You may have to lean on others if you don't be a good steward of what he gives you. Praise God. 
I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, oh Lord God, for giving us this message, oh Father. We come unto you as your humble children, Lord God, thanking you humbly, oh Father God, for what you have released in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for leading our way. We thank you, Jesus, for uncovering this message for us that we need to recognize the time that we are in right now in Jesus' mighty name, for this is an important time, very significant to the kingdom of God. And we're so grateful that we are chosen in this time to stand up as the remnant, oh Father God, to call upon your name, to praise you, to honor you, to glorify you, oh Lord God, to join hands with every single person you have sent our way, oh Father God, to stand on your word together in Jesus' mighty name, and that we will not be moved, we will not be swayed by the wind, oh Father God, but we will stand solid on your firm foundation in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, oh Lord God, continue to pour onto us, Lord God, bless us, show us favor in this land, oh Father God, let people know that we belong to you, oh Father God, let them know who you are, hallelujah, through us in Jesus' mighty name, let them know, oh Lord God, show them signs, miracles, and wonders, oh Father God. Show them the demonstrations and the teachings beyond like ever before in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray right now that every single person who is on this uh, live right now, uh, this line, will will yield to you, oh Father God, will do what you call them to do, Lord God, in obedience, and that they, Lord God, will show you the glorification that you so well deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Removing themselves, but uh, uh, accepting all of you in Jesus' mighty name. We love you. Amen. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. Just know that the Lord loves you. I love you. Keep to the fast. Eat healthy. Consecrate. Pray. Meditate. Yield, y'all. I'm telling you all of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. For we are drawing closer to the Lord. And this is what he's calling for us to do in this season. This is the year of consecration for wheat and barley. Let's go ahead and submit to the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. Be blessed. I'll see you at 6 p.m. today for communion. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients.